Hello, I'm Brian with JMT. Today we're going to go over a WL460DSAR. It's a programmable power miter bandsaw. It's got an 18 inch capacity at 90. Also at 45 on round, on square it goes to a 16 and a half. On your rectangles it's 16 and a half by 32 inches. So a very big, robust saw we're going to go over today. Um, right now I got it in a minus 60 degree angle. I'm going to go ahead and put it back to um, 90. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run it in semi-automatic mode, so i got to bring pressure to my vise. As you can tell here, it's got a free fall speed. After it leaves this limit switch, you'll actually see the saw head slow down. And as you can also tell once again, it just lifts a um, couple inches above the material it actually cut. This right here you can see you got rollers that can slide to different positions as you need for your wider material. Keep in mind these have to be against this limit switch when you're actually using your power miter. Because obviously you can see here there would be a crash if it allowed you to do that. Nice feature, I love it though. And just tighten it down here. As you can see here this can come this can be removed. Also needs to be removed when you're doing your miter cuts, but very nice when you're cutting pipe and stuff like that so those pieces ain't gonna fall off or um, bang against your saw so it keeps your material more stable. Hydraulically driven, screw driven power vise. Uh, just a hydraulic blade tensioning, loosen. Tighten. It's that simple. Pop it right in the middle, then you're ready to go. So very simple to do a blade change on this bandsaw. And you also get the right tension for your bandsaw blade too with this system. Here, you can see right here how we got all the stability to hold your wheels and your eyes. This is a welded, um, very heavy duty um, frame. As you can tell how thick this is. So you're not gonna have very rigid and strong cuts. Supported on both ends as I wanna point out on this bandsaw also. Um, on your vise, I want to point out too, maybe it kind of looks kind of funny, but this is actually removable so you can actually get your wider pieces in here, but it allows you to get in further too for your smaller pieces. Big hydraulic cylinder, well, you got your lubrication, your oil lubrication. Keep that nice and smooth for years. Look how big this um, gearbox is on this bandsaw, just massive. So you got a lot of torque with this bandsaw, I got a 5 horsepower motor running it. I come around I can kind of show you the system that actually makes this the programmable tilt. You can kind of see down here the system it has actually has a hydraulic little cylinder with the um, it drives this with the gear system and also has a little brake back here if you can see it with the camera that actually when it stops it actually puts a brake to stop it so the saw head doesn't move. Now we're going to go over the um, control panel of this bandsaw. You can see right here you got your manual and you also got your um, semi-auto. And your manual, manual settings are we're going to have it for now to demonstrate the buttons on the controller. As you can see here we have our light. Um, activates here. Coolant pump lets you know by lighting up. This is our up and down buttons. And also we got our down feed which allows us to how much pressure we're going to put to our material as we're cutting it. This is our vise. Open and close. And you can see when we actually have pressure the light actually lights up on that button very nice. This right here 
Uh, when we got our bandsaw running in our semi-auto mode, we can actually shut our bandsaw blade off if we see something that we don't want. We can shut it off any time. This is our hydraulic power button. This is our emergency stop button, as you can tell here. You go ahead and turn it back on. Tap the screen. And now while we're in this screen, you can see right here. So we can see our vise. We actually have pressure. You'll see that that'll light up. And we actually have our upper limit switch. Now we come down, that'll light, um, that light comes off, as you can tell. And obviously if our blade's running, that light will light up for us. Very nice, very simple. Now right here is how we program the angle we want to cut. So right now we got to 45. Let's say we want to go to, does this all actually cut to the left 60 degrees? Let's do it si minus 60, sorry. Minus 60, enter. See, now you can see the saw has to be all the way up, opens the vise, and you see when it gets to the position, this vise will actually move to the other direction for us automatically. What I like about this, where it's programmable, there's none of your operators guessing if he's on 60 degrees or not. You know you're there when you go ahead. You can just go ahead and do that. Go ahead and start cutting, bring the material in, and go ahead and start you know, your process. Um, to go ahead and start um, our blade speed, if you want to do it 190, easy as doing that. You can go ahead and now you change our blade speed to match our material that we're cutting for the project. Uh, another right here, we can see all the different languages that this control can be operated in, which makes it nice because all the different employees, different languages, you're not going to be limited to who you have to hire that run this bandsaw. Simply click out, saw. As you can see by this green light, our hydraulics are actually running right now. If this saw sits without being operated for a couple minutes, it'll actually shut your hydraulics off. So if your operator gets sidetracked or walks away, it'll shut those off. What, what's important about that is, is you're going to have more longevity out of your hydraulic pump. Also going to save on your power bill. Now you can see the green light turned off. You heard the hydro um, hydraulic motor kick off also. Really nice feature. Allows for your saw to last a lot longer. Love to sell you one.